Imagine this, a swarm of bees lands on an infant's face. What do you do? Probably the instinct would be to shoo them away, but couldn't that cause them to sting the child? It sounds like a no-win scenario, doesn't it? Yet the story goes, that's exactly what happened to Aurelius Ambrosius, better known as Saint Ambrose. The bees landed on his face and left behind a drop of honey, a sign his father interpreted to mean Ambrose would be a gifted speaker with words sweet as honey. Ambrose grew up to become the Bishop of Milan and one of the most important theological figures of the 4th century. One of his well-known writings praises the virtue of gentleness. He encouraged a gentleness which the ears of men can endure in the presence of which their hearts do not sink. He believed that the only way to deal with someone in the wrong or someone who has wronged you was to approach them in gentleness as that's the only avenue by which they might repent. Sounds a bit like those bees, huh? They could have stung, but they didn't. They were gentle. To most modern mind your own business ears, Paul's words about restoring someone caught in sin sound ancient. But Paul, like St. Ambrose, doesn't sidestep something simply because it's hard or out of fashion. Both men place equal stress in such a restoration on the shoulders of the virtue of gentleness. A harsh rebuke can leave everyone feeling stung, but a gentle approach can provide room for a genuine repentance and a restoration that's sweet like honey.